Welcome back to Master Brainstem uh, Neuroanatomy in 5 Minutes. This is part 2. Uh, you'll recall in part 1 we talked about the location of the cranial nerve uh, nuclei. Uh, in this ses ses session we're going to talk about uh, the location of the uh, various longitudinal tracts uh, in tracts in the, uh, in the brainstem. Uh, to cover this I'm going to refer to this as the rule of MS, M standing for medial, uh, and S uh, for side or lateral. Uh, so breaking it down this way, uh, looking at the medial brain stem, and you may recall from the last uh, uh, video, uh, we drew a grid over the brain stem to locate the cranial nerve nuclei. Uh, this uh, medial box corresponds to the medial grid uh, from uh, the nuclei uh, video. So three medial tracts, uh, all of which start with M. First is the uh, motor tract, uh, which is cheating a little bit. Uh, technically this would be the corticospinal tract, but unfortunately that doesn't start with M. Uh, so we're going to refer to the uh, it is as, as the motor tract, which is here in uh, red, uh, comes down and uh, decussates uh, in the uh, medulla. The second track is the medial lemniscus, responsible for uh, vibratory sense uh, and uh, position sense, uh, uh, highlighted here in blue, uh, which also comes down and decussates uh, in the medulla. Uh, and the last of the medial tracks is the medial longitudinal fasciculus, uh, which helps in the coordination of horizontal gaze, as uh, did not decussate, and you see has some projections out to the vestibular uh, nucleus. As a general principle, uh, those tracts which tend to be more medial are those that will tend to uh, decussate, as, uh, and we'll see as we move out to the lateral brainstem, uh, there is less of that uh, crossover that, uh, that occurs. Uh, so that's the rule of M, uh, of our MS. If we add to that uh, the side tracts or the lateral tracts, they are also uh, three lateral uh, tracts. Uh, the first is the uh, spinothalamic uh, tract, uh, which ascends. It's indicated here uh, in uh, in blue. Uh, ascends from the periphery up through the spinal cord uh, and uh, to the uh, thalamus, spinothalamic tract. Uh, second, the sympathetic tract. Sympathetic tract is listed here. Uh, in red and X uh, ipsilaterally does not uh, does not cross, and lastly uh, the spinocerebellar uh, tract, uh, which is indicated here in green, which also acts uh, uh, ipsilaterally. Uh, so fairly uh, simple: uh, three medial tracts, uh, three side tracts. Uh, put that together with what uh, we learned about the uh, location of the nuclei. Uh, and that gives you a pretty good uh, general overview of uh, major pieces of brainstem neuroanatomy.